In this video, I'm showing you how I am binding a jotter journal. Hello, this is Marieke Blokland from blokno.nl and welcome to a new episode of Art Journal TV. For our journal, you will need eight sheets of uh, A4 sketching paper, preferably a thick sketching paper, like for example 180 uh, grams paper. Eight sheets. One, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You fold the sheets in half. I often use a ruler. press it a bit. You also need a fun scrapbook paper, any paper you like. And also fold that one in half. If you just want to use it as a sketchbook you can keep this A5 so you needn't uh, cut it like this one. But I actually want to make one that fits inside my um, notebook case so that I can take it with me easily with my other planner stuff that is currently not inside. To measure the, the book um, I just use my eyes really. I'm not going to make this very uh, perfect in size. I just want to make a quick fun uh, sketchbook for my October project. I take my craft knife, a really sharp one, and I'm carefully going to cut this. I want the cover to be a tiny bit um, larger than the insert, so I'm going to fold it. I'm going to put this I fold it back and now the other side as well it does not have to be perfect and the inside page is back and now you see that that the cover is a tiny bit bigger then the inside pages. I really like that. Now I'm going to measure the book. Um, when you do this you can um, put a dot here and then measure it and put a dot there. But I'm going to use this one because I like the size of this one. Make a tiny mark here and a tiny mark there. And now again I'm going to cut this with my sharp crafts knife. Be careful. Now I'm going to sew this together with this binding. I'm going to punch a needle hole here in the middle and on the side. So three holes. One here, one here and one here. Um, if you want to be really perfect you can measure it. But I'm just going to uh, punch the holes without thinking too much. Watch out for your fingers. To bind my jotted journal I'm using this book binder set. I'm just going to wrap a pretty long piece. I usually take about three times the size and a bit more and I'm going to sew this together. I start in the middle from the inside and I leave some thread here so that I can make a knot later. I'm using this pretty neon pink shoelace as a decoration and as you see the thread here is underneath the shoelace and I'm going to go back over it. And 
I make a tiny little knot here inside my jotter journal. Now I'm going to this left punched hole and again make sure that the needle is underneath the shoelace and I'm going over it and then back to that same hole and I'm repeating this same thing so underneath the shoelace and then back over it and back into that same hole. Now I'm going back to the middle and I'm going back over my shoelace and I'm repeating this on the other side as well, twice again. I'm going to tie this together and cut the thread. I'm making one knot here, cut the shoulders. And one knot here. Make sure that the knot is just right above the book. I'm going to glue this with a tiny bit of the uh, tacky glue. You can of course use any paper glue. And for a fun detail I'm going to cut all the corners with a round corner punch and voila nice round corners if you want you can decorate your cover just keep it really simple I'm just going to stick a tiny bit of washi tape here I still had some of these label stickers very old ones these are fun I'm going to write Inktober here. So I'll just make a tiny little test first. You could of course also write it with pencil first, but I don't think that's really spontaneous. So I'm usually just write it first on a piece of paper. Here are two fun jotter journals for me and my daughter Matilda for Inktober 2017 with 32 pages. <laughs>